What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. I wanna wish everybody a fabulous Tuesday. We're gonna take a look at the charts. First, taking a look at Bitcoin, then Litecoin. Looking at a massive breakout coming or are we gonna get a massive breakdown? We're gonna take a look at the targets, see where we might be headed. Definitely stick around. I also wanna show you guys a wallet that um, a company sent me and to do a review, I'll show you it and show you where to look it up. I have a link to it in the description below the video. It's Elipale. Definitely check it out. It's pretty interesting. I haven't actually loaded anything on it yet. I just started playing with it. I am going to do that tonight. But anyways, I want to remind you guys, we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. It's totally free. Definitely check it out. Awesome community, guys. If you love crypto, you'll love the community. And there's some other affiliate links down there. There's some exchange links. You actually get a bonus if you sign up and make a deposit. So check them out. And uh, let's get on with the video. All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, keep in mind, it's still a speculative market. Do not put in more than you're willing to lose. And with that being said, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We do daily updates every single day. And if you take the notification bell, you won't miss out on anything. Also, um, I want to remind you guys, definitely stop the video for a second, give it a giant thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and let's see what's going on. So, all right, oh, one more thing. Um, we're going to do another free t-shirt giveaway, so leave a comment on any video this week. We'll do the, the drawing of the random comment on Sunday to pick the winner, so definitely make sure you leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and all right, let's go. So you also make sure you're subscribed. Let's uh, look at the weekly. So we've been watching this bull flag for a very long time. And I had said a long time ago, anything within here, I really don't care. I am going to continue holding, which I did. Also been trading within it. Um, but I had mentioned, I'll, you can check my videos from way back that this, I've been watching this as a bull flag. We've finally popped out. I did say that we would most likely come back down and test it for support before continuing up. And that <clears throat> is exactly what's happening right now. Let's look at the measured moves. We measure this just as a falling channel. The measured move of that is going to be around the $13,400 range. That's where I'm looking at. I have some more um, immediate price actions. We'll look at that in a different time frame. But I just wanted to show you guys these measurements real quick. Looking at this as a bull flag, and this is the flag pull from the breakout down here, the measured move of that would be 17,700 area. Now the next measured move, and, and as we come up here guys, I'm sure we'll see support, or I mean resistance at these levels. So keep that in mind. And the next measured move would be measuring from the breakout down here, using this as a flag pull bring it up to the breakout and that gets us up to the $19,200 range. Um, I do believe it is possible still guys that we could possibly still see new all time highs this year. Um, we'll talk about that. I, I don't have a whole lot of time today. I will make a video on that. Let's, uh, let's go into the daily and see what's going on here. So a little closer look at it. We've broken out of the bull flag. And I had told you yesterday, um, if you guys watched, around 9180 or so would be the top of the bull flag. We have hit that, and we are getting a bounce. This is a major area that we have to watch, support and resistance line, 9300. I believe if we stay above that now, guys, we are just going to continue up, and we'll look at the targets. Um, if you look at my EMAs here, I am big on EMAs, anybody that watches the channel. This... This is my 55 EMA here, the yellow. Um, the 8 EMA is looking to cross it now. That's pretty damn bullish, guys. The 200 EMA is down here. The 13 is crossed, has crossed the 200 on the daily. And next in line is the 21 EMA. This is looking extremely bullish to me, guys. Um, let's look at the price action. I mean the RSI, sorry, guys. And looking at this as a falling channel, we talked about it days ago. If we broke out, it was going to be extremely bullish, which we have. 
Let's look at the four hour RSI and see what that's telling us. So in the four hour RSI, same thing. <clears throat> we had this falling channel in here and we had talked about this as being a bull trap, which I do believe it was, or I'm sorry, bear trap. And look at this as a possible bull trap if we continue down. But guys, it looks like we are forming a falling wedge in the RSI that could be bullish as long as we can break the top of this wedge. So anybody that's following along, I would draw that in and keep an eye on it. Um, it is possible we come back down for a test of the bottom of it before continuing up. But if we do break this bottom one, then it's the more bearish scenario. Let's look at the more immediate price action. Uh, but before I do that, real quick, um, I do want to tell you about the Ella Pale. They sent me a one of their wallets. It is a cold storage wallet. It actually looks pretty cool. I've not, I've just set it up, but I have not actually used it yet. Definitely check it out. It also comes with a key storage. the The actual wallet is metal. Also, so is the key storage. Um, definitely check it out, guys. Pretty interesting. I have a link to it in the description below the video. And here, here's the web page on it. It's actually. It's got a lot of features. Definitely check it out. Like I said, I'll check it out tonight. I'll go over it a little more. Um, like I said, they did give me one to kind of do a review and check it out. So if you get a chance, check it out. Um, like I said, there's a link to it below the description. That does also help the channel out if you use my link, if you do purchase one. But let's get back into it. Now we're looking at the four hour. I'm gonna get some of this stuff off here that I really don't think is necessary. So we're looking at the four hour and we have this triangle drawn in here. It's actually a little off. Let me fix it. There we go. So we've, if we break out to the upside guys, the measured move would be that measuring this as a flagpole from the breakout down here. And depending on where we break out, if we break out up top, the measured move is $12,400 range. I have another target right here and that's the 10,920 and I got that by using the fibs and that would be the golden pocket for a, an extension and if we take a measured move off the bottom down here measure up here bring it down to the bottom and that's looking at this as a one two three whoops one two three four five if you were to use Elliott wave um, of course, you guys know I don't really like Elliott Wave, but I do like Fibonacci. But that gets us up to the point 618 is at the 10.9. So um, if we get, I'm sure we'll get resistance here. If we can break through, then we're looking at the higher target here of 12.4. And then you guys know where the 13.4 came up from the measured move of the bull flag as a channel. So that's where I'm at with that. It is. If we are to break down here, guys, then I have these targets here, which we've had for quite some time. Um, I'm going to get this one out of here. And if we break down through here, I'd look for support around the 89, around 8,900. If we don't get support there, we could be looking down to the 8,500. Um, there is lower supports down there. Um, I believe they're right around... Actually, let me put the fibs on it and I will tell you real quick. So we get a, let me get these off here. But I'm pretty, pretty confident, pretty bullish guys. And remember, this is just my opinion. Do your own due diligence. Um, don't listen to anybody or make trades off anybody on the internet. Um, do your own due diligence, guys. I am not responsible for your trades or your investments. But 7,900 would be, actually it's about 8,000 would be the next support after that 85. So, um, yeah, so if we break up from here, and I will be trading this, um, and the way to trade this, guys, is if it does break out, you play the breakout. I will play the breakout right here. I'm not telling anybody how to do I'm just telling you what I'll do. And if you guys do want to trade, I do have links to Bybit below the video. If you sign up, make a deposit of 0.2 Bitcoin, you get a free $60 bonus. There's also a Prime XBT down there. Whatever you deposit, they give you a 35% bonus. 
But guys, be very careful. Do not trade super high leverage. Um, just be safe. Make your own decisions. Anyways, I will play this as a long at the break of the top of this, and I will put my stop loss tightly right underneath the triangle, the top of the triangle here. And to short it, if it breaks down here, I will put the short in and put my stop loss up here. And remember, guys, a lot of times these can be a fake out. Just be aware. If it was to break up, come up here, it can come right back down. Same thing the opposite direction. It can look like it's going to break out and then come up. So keep that in mind. That's why we use stop losses. And you can flip your trade if it does turn around and go the other way. So definitely keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, the EMAs look pretty good on the, we had a golden cross here, the 55 over the 200 EMA. And, and as you guys know, I use EMAs, not um, simple moving averages, but they work better in crypto if you ask me. So anyways, we got that cross here. That's looking pretty bullish. Go into the one hour. I usually don't go into the one hour, but I just want to take a look. And so far, we are getting getting support by the EMAs here. We'll see how that works out. Remember, guys, these could turn around. If they do turn around and cross, we are looking at our lower targets down here. Um, first target, 89, then 85, and then the 8,000. So keep that in mind. Definitely watch this, see what's going on here. This is looking, it's actually looking pretty bullish to me, guys. If we Another way to look at it here, you could look at this as a, let me put it in here. Um, could look at this as a bull flag and remember to leave your comments for a chance to win the free t-shirt but anyway yeah you could look at that as a bull flag do a measured move it would get you up here somewhere in the ninety six hundred dollar range which would be breaking this triangle um, and then you may come back down to retest but like I said I showed you what I'm planning to do definitely make do your own due diligence see what you plan but if you do win the t-shirt you'll be able to go to my wife's home page or web page you can go there anytime to purchase stuff. This is also a way to support the channel. Um, she has tons of merch in there, crypto merch. You can have her put any crypto, any saying, any family picture, anything. They're great for gifts. Um, she makes signs, hats, beer koozies, coffee mugs, t-shirts. And she does some hoodies too. You have to uh, contact her here to, to ask for anything you might want other than what's on here. But uh, yeah, it's a good way to support the channel. And let's take a look at Litecoin. So looking at Litecoin on the daily. And if we do a measured move of this wedge that we've broken out of to where we broke out, that gets us up to about the $114 range. Now, let's look at the RSI here on the daily. As you can see, we were in a rising channel, now falling channel, and we are playing with the top of this rising channel. If this breaks, guys, that is going to be extremely bullish. Keep in mind, we could get rejected and come down, but this is key here to where this daily closes. If we close outside this today or any day this week, um, it's gonna be pretty damn bullish, but if we can't get above it, we could be looking at the bearish case scenario. Look at the four hour. All right, so on the four hour, we were watching this as a rise or a falling broadening wedge, which we broke out of and we came back down just under it a few times, but we still look like we're getting support here. And now what looks like is forming here and keep an eye on it. It's not confirmed until it actually breaks, but this does look like we are starting to form a inverse head and shoulders here, which is bullish. And that could create, let's put a and lines in here that could create more of a falling wedge here or a bull flag. So it actually would look more like a bull flag here. But yeah, that's what I'm looking at. This is actually looking bullish also, guys. We didn't take a look at the EMAs on the daily. Let's do that for Litecoin. And as you can see, we're having our smaller ones cross here. We had the eight cross the 13. Now we're looking at the or I'm sorry, yeah, we had the eight cross the 21, and now we're looking at the 13 cross and the 21. Um, and we are getting squeezed in between the, the 55 and the smaller EMAs down here. So it does look like a bull flag forming, guys. 
let's look at the four hour. First, we'll take a look at the RSI, which well, we already have. Let's take a look at the four hour, looking at this as a triangle. And the measured move of this triangle would be measuring from the breakout down here. Measuring this as a flagpole up to, and again, guys, these aren't exact. And the longer it takes to break out, if we do break up, the lower this target gets. But as of right now, if we were to break up in the next four to in the next four to eight hours, the target would be around seventy-five dollars. Um, if we are to break down out of the bottom of this, as you can see too, the two hundred EMA has been crossed by all the smaller EMAs, and the fifty-five EMA is working its way up to it. We could end up extending this, and this triangle actually. This triangle actually being more using that bottom line there is possible. So keep an eye on that. If we do break down below here, which is around a $58 range, then we I would be looking for support on this trend line, which also lines up with the 55 EMA. Um, and it would be somewhere around 56 50 I'd say the yeah 5650 range if we break below that then I'd be looking for support down on this trend line which would be around the $56 area or $52 area sorry um but yeah as of now I'm watching I'm looking for a breakout here and I, that would be played the same way as I showed you in Bitcoin um, with the triangle breakout so definitely if you do want to practice and play with trading like I said, I do have a Bybit and a Prime XBT that you can sign up for using my links. You get bonuses, 35% with Prime XBT and $60 with Bybit. So that is where I'm at and what I'm looking at, guys. Um, like I said, I'm pretty bullish here. Um, even if we do come back down, you know, this could actually come all the way back down at some point and retest the top of this wedge, which I don't think is likely. Uh, by watching Bitcoin and what Bitcoin's doing. Um, but to see what happens here, we could go one more touch down at the bottom of the triangle here before trying to get up. But like I said, we'll know when either the bottom or the top of this triangle breaks, which way we're going. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash those likes and leave your comments, guys. It really helps the channel out just like using my affiliate links down below, dude. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Have a great day. See you later.